latest in your certified most accurate forecast. Jess? Yeah, not nearly as cold as what we saw this morning, but it will be chilly as we take you through today. You're probably going to need the light jacket if you have any plans on heading out along the Grand Strand or the PD. 56 for our low across the Grand Strand, 55 for the PD. And if you have any plans, maybe for a morning beach walk, you want to catch the sunrise, it should be a good one, although we are going to be dodging some cloud cover. Temperatures will probably warrant maybe a long sleeve or a light jacket throughout tomorrow morning. Sunrise is right around 6. 41 temperatures are going to be hovering right around the upper 50s by about 7 a.m. Low 60s by about 8. Then we'll continue to climb steadily into the low 60s throughout portions of late morning. I'm going to be talking more though on a nice warm and dry stretch of weather we have. That's all coming up in my first alert forecast. Hoping for a beach day this weekend. Tomorrow might be one of those days. I'll talk more on what we can expect along the beach tomorrow and also what we're going to be expecting into the new week. That's all coming up next. Yes, to Jessica Dobson. Well, if you have any plans on hitting the courses come tomorrow morning, overall it's going to be a nice Sunday. Yes, we are going to be expecting temperatures to be a little warmer, bouncing back into the upper 60s as we take you through the most part of tomorrow. Upper 60s, low 70s, and we're going to be dealing with some cloud cover, yes, at times, especially come tomorrow morning. But overall, it's going to be a pretty nice day. It's looking dry, too, so shouldn't run into any problems. And we will see some steady clearing come tomorrow afternoon. So if you're going to be hitting the beaches, overall a pretty nice day. Just keep in mind you're likely going to be dealing with a little bit in the way of some clouds come tomorrow morning, but those will give way to partly to mostly sunny skies as we take you throughout tomorrow afternoon. So we'll see a high temperature of 72 degrees along the beaches tomorrow. It's going to be a pleasant day, nice and dry too. We saw a couple of showers earlier today, worked through mostly the PD. They really struggled to make it along the Grand Strand, so we didn't get much in the way of rainfall today. But as we head towards Tuesday, that's really really going to be our only next best chance of rainfall as we take you into the new work week. So we're going to be staying pretty dry and also expect a nice warm up as we take you into the new week as well. So temperatures bouncing back into the middle 70s. In fact, a couple of degrees above average for this time of year. So by Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, holding steady in the middle 70s for the PD we will approach the low 80s as we take you through midweek. So looking like we're going to be expecting a very nice week low humidity next week as well, but we are going to be tracking signs of a bit of a cool down as we take you through at least Thursday and Friday. Our next best chance of rain though really doesn't your thing and you want to be heading to the courses tomorrow's looking like it's going to be a pretty nice day for it. We won't see quite as much in the way of sunshine starting off tomorrow morning because we will see clouds continue to thicken up overnight, but overall temperatures will be right around the low 60s by about 8 a.m. towards lunchtime approaching the low 70s and then throughout tomorrow afternoon you're looking at temperatures right around 71 degrees and we are going to be seeing a high tomorrow afternoon of 72. So if you're going to be heading to the beaches, yes, we'll see those clouds early on in the day, but we'll see clearing gradually take place throughout the afternoon hours, and that's going to be giving way to honestly a pretty nice beach day. Winds will be a bit breezy at times, but we're not looking at gusts uh, up to more than about 10 or 12 miles per hour. Water temperature, though, still quite chilly, not quite warm enough, I would say, to get in just yet, although a lot of people have been breathing those cold temperatures. But as we take you through the next week in terms of those rain chances, we're really not looking at any sort of major rainfall as we head towards that least most of next week. Better chances of rain do arrive as we take you into next weekend. So through the next seven days looking pretty dry, only our next round of rain will take place for next Tuesday. So into next week, we're looking warm. We're looking mostly dry, plenty of sunshine, even with a couple of those spotty shower chances on our Tuesday. But uh, overall for the Grand Strand, we're looking at temperatures right around the middle 70s through at least Wednesday. For the PD, we'll actually climb into the low middle 80s through about Wednesday day and that's we can still expect some sunny skies to take shape. So looking at your beach seven day fork. Thank you throughout tonight. We're still going to be expecting temperatures right around the 60s or still checking in right around 66 degrees in Myrtle Beach. That's not stopping too many people from still enjoying what's left of the sunshine for today. We're tracking a couple of light showers, but as expected, the sea breeze have really put uh, a damper on some of these showers. So we're going to continue to expect these to dissipate. Maybe a couple of light sprinkles taking place right now near places like Florence, and these could maybe make their way towards the Grand Strand, but Honestly, not looking terribly promising. So as we take you throughout tonight, we'll continue to look mostly dry. A couple stray showers possible, though, as we take you throughout this evening.